Boys, KSI has had enough, all right, of the whole fucking internet. On October the 12th, 2021, Lord KSI himself, as he proclaimed on Twitter, KSI put out a series of tweets on Twitter regarding his mental health and the current state of his tour. Very recently, KSI has gone on tour to promote his new album. And if you guys aren't aware of his newest album, All Over the Place, I will play the biggest banger on the album now. Madness. Isn't that a fucking jam? But like I said, he's put out a series of tweets and today, I'm going to go through it and dissect it for you today. Do be warned though that KSI isn't his normal self in these series of tweets. He's very clearly going through a rough time, so if I see any comments shutting shit about the man himself, this is a free world actually, you can do what you want. But let's start this. So KSI has started off the series of tweets off by saying this. I'm my own worst enemy. I just overwork myself and don't get rest enough and then I get sick. Using that word in 2021, mate, KSI, watch yourself, all right? You saw what happened last year when people said they got sick, all right? Don't be one of those people. Touring almost daily, second channel videos, music videos, training, press, Sidemen main channel, Sidemen second channel, Sidemen reacts, crypto, leaving life, and then I hardly rest, lol. To be honest, KSI, this doesn't seem like a laughing matter, alright? You putting lol there is just inviting people to say ratio. I mean, in all fairness, anyone who says ratio on Twitter, <laughs> they're sad cunts. But let's dissect what he said. Second channel videos, I don't personally watch them, but from what I saw on the last upload schedule, he hasn't been doing it very frequently. I mean, in all fairness, mate, if I was uploading as much as KSI was, I'd be going fucking mental too. Music videos, you can't really discuss because we haven't got a clue about it. That's all sort of behind the scenes stuff, so let's move on. Crypto, fuck, I don't want to get into the discussion of crypto. I'll be here all day with this shit. But on the next tweet, he says this. Forgot to add making music, side plus, Amazon doc, and filming for other YouTube channels. Okay, in all fairness, he's got me there. I mean, I've seen the Charlie D'Amelio documentary, all right? If I had cameras shoved on my face, 24-7, I want to ground stop them as well. If you looked at my calendar this year, you would be sick. It's ridiculous how much I do. I know it's mental, but sometimes I'd hope to get COVID just so I can get two-week break quarantining. I mean, that's that famous old saying where you take a break before you need it, all right? But clearly... <laughs> But clearly KSI has never heard of this saying. I mean, in all seriousness, I get where he's coming from, the whole overwork stuff, because I've done this myself. And I don't want to turn this into a discussion where I just go, Oh, I'm more difficult than KSI. KSI, more like rich guy. <laughs> That was so shit. KSI, more like rich guy. Who does he know about being poor? I must look like the slums compared to this guy. No, no, there's no, nothing like that shit, all right? But I can see it person to person as someone who's overworked myself. Overworking yourself can lead to your mental and physical well-being being absolutely fucking shit. He then follows up with this tweet. So what do I do? What can I do? I've made this best because I enjoy doing so many things. I just want to do it all. So there's really nothing I can do expect to keep going and try to manage my time better. Probably start to say no to more things, etc. So sorry if you're angry. I don't lie to you, lads. I don't know who the fuck's getting angry at KSI. Like I said, I'm my own worst enemy. Don't even have time to see my family. Don't even have time to see my girlfriend. I'm a workaholic and I just work, work, work till my body physically shuts down. Don't worry about me anyway. I'll use this as a learning curve. Now, lads, we have two options here. Because either we can agree that Lord KSI has had a capital L on this tweet, all right? And then everyone in the comments will ratio him, for fuck's sake. Or you can actually be a man and see it from his perspective and see how he works himself into the ground like a lot of people who are successful do. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people are just hand-gifted they're successful, right? But people like KSI who went from YouTube, you've had to put a grind in to get where he wants, all right? Especially that whole evolving stage he had back in 2017, etc. But from a YouTube gamer slash just YouTube meme, where he evolved himself into do stuff like boxing or music, etc. And if he didn't do that shit, if he didn't evolve, then his channel would suffer as a result and he'd become, well irrelevant. But that last little bit there, don't worry about me anyway, I'll use this as a learning curve. It just says to me he's one of those people who actually learns from their mistakes and doesn't repeat the same shit over and over again. Because if you don't learn from your mistakes, you'll just keep making the same exact mistake and you'll never learn and you'll never evolve. You know what, I'd say good on you KSI mate, you know what, take a break. Fuck of all I care, take a year off mate. The world's opening up a bit now mate, go to a bowling alley. Oh wait. But in all seriousness from this video, I'm not trying to give a lecture to people on how they want to live their life. If people want to overwork themselves into the ground, that's fine by them. 
but as long as they don't actually, you know, kill themselves doing it. Yes, I do mean that metaphorically, all right? But that's why KSI is in the position he is today, because he is a workaholic, like he said himself. Some people can sit there and nitpick and just look at the tweet and go, oh, well, that's not very hard. Oh, man, relax. That's just you looking at the camera for 15 minutes. Crypto? Huh, you just look at numbers, mate. Just input a bit of money. There you go. Okay, yeah, some people will be like that, but that's just Twitter, right? The second most toxic website in the world. Sorry, Twitter. Reddit has that. But yeah, like the guy said, even having a couple weeks off will do a fucking wonder. I mean, you can't lie, in the last few years, this guy's been mental, really. He has been uploading every day on his second channel, albeit with the help of his editor. But on top of that, he's got more shit going on than he's letting on, really. Because we just see it from a YouTube perspective or a Twitter perspective. We don't really see it from actually his perspective. Because obviously, he's got stuff coming up and he doesn't want us to know about it just yet. You know, kind of spoil all the surprise and all that sort of shit. But I think that's all I could touch on in this video here. Sorry if this video came across more serious than I thought. But motherfucker, if we're going to a topic like this, it kind of has to be serious or have some sort of authenticity, all right? I know my videos don't really have structure, but if I didn't have some sort of seriousness for this video, Fuck me, structure, what is that? Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. There'll be a video for the screen right now, so if you enjoyed the last one, you'll definitely enjoy this one. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in a bit!